Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is Harry Kane. He's got the ball. It's scored. What a goal. Yay. Everybody goes mad. Hello, guys, and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa. And we're working here. <laughs> I don't know why that suddenly switched around. Working here on the Ferry Empire scenario. We're just following our cargo train here over to the Egbert Island area which we worked on last time. So we've got no roads going to Egbert Island. Oh, it's decided to switch back again. And there's all the cargo being brought in. Excellent. That'll all be lifted off. There we go. Oh, it's done. He's picked up the whole train and it's disappeared. Excellent. Oh, and here comes another one. <laughs> Let's see if it does that again. I can't remember the last time I've actually watched one of these to see whether it... It puts it on, takes it off. Okay, there we go. So a little bit of an animation there. And then all the trucks are heading out to take all the lovely cargo. Oh, do you know what? We should have this uh -huh, as a priority road. So you don't have to stop. There we go. Let's just have a quick look at that. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, I set this as a priority road, but it hasn't put... There we go. That's what we want. No traffic lights. You want them to go. Good. That's excellent. We don't need... Traffic lights here, actually, do we? Because it's not not really that busy. That can come off as well. Excellent. There we go. Keep things moving along. So last episode, we removed the road connections to get to here. So that's that road connection there. This one isn't connected here. And we've got all the services that we need to keep these guys and girls happy on this island. And it's running well. I mean, if we have a look at our... There we go, up to 56,000. So, you know, approaching 60,000 already using the ferries. And we're not that big. We've only got like 12,000 people. We're shrinking a little bit. Something we need to just remove as well, which was mentioned, was all these power lines down here. Let's get rid of those. We don't need those now. People are happily sharing the power. There's probably some tucked in the middle here. No, I've already got those ones. That's good. Um, I've also removed... Uh, the other ferry line. We've got the ferry lines that go clockwise and anti-clockwise. We've got this one that goes backwards and forwards here. Very busy. We had one that went up and down here as well. Well, I've just removed that one. Um, that wasn't needed. So, that was getting in the way. Oh, what's this building here? That looks nice. Organic food market. That is one posh organic food market. Very nice. Excuse me if I sound a little bit sniffy today. I was coming down with a cold hay fever or something. I'm not entirely sure. But, you know, we'll power on through. We'll be fine. Um, an excellent comment that was made. I mean, we're trying to basically move a quarter of a million people using ship. Um, oh, I've just had a thought, actually. Yeah, so we could put a harbour down. That's going to include that as well, isn't it? We've been sticking to ferries, but when we get to 30,000, we could do a harbour. So we can't do that yet, the cargo harbours, because somebody mentioned that as well. Put that in instead of the train. Well, I can't yet. Um, but somebody else did mention about having... We've got our external train line that runs through here. Uh, where does it go? Off this way. And we've got this little junction here and here. So our cargo trains can come across here to Egabat District from our industry area. They can also come from the external. There we go. Look. What's he got on him? There we go. He's taking cargo out to sell, which is good. What's it say on there? He's going to to Canberg. Oh, there we go. City next door. Um, yeah, so they can go internal and external. We could also get passengers uh, or visitors and tourists from the outside and move them via ship. Oh, hello. <laughs> Where's he off to? Flying to Najar with some passengers. Ah, oh, nothing to do with us, though. We don't have an airport. So if we can get, like, a tourist area set up somewhere and have a train station attached to the, the line here, a passenger train station, directly to a ferry, um, then they will come across and visit um, our tourist area. So let's have a look. Let's keep the game going. I was thinking of putting it. Let's have a look. Um, I mean, if we had a tourist area, this is like the perfect spot over here because we, this is we're sort of all building up with our with our people. Um, I also want to expand a bit down here. We've got more space; we can fit more people in. We're, some people are leaving. We're running out of running out of places for them. What's that there? Oh, it's like a path that cuts across. Um, we'll maybe come back to that in a moment. But oh, that one's empty and is finished as well. Let's stop emptying. Yeah, we're using both of those, so that's fine. We'll just keep that going. Make sure we've got enough coverage. So how about we put this? Let's have a look. Uh, that's buses. 
metro train okay so if we take our standard train station i'm just thinking we want to put it somewhere let's have a look and i'm going to connect it up to this ferry i may actually stick hmm, another ferry port in somewhere just so it doesn't cram up the one that we've already got i may put for now a second one here by this big road and have it sort of connect to there so actually this would seem maybe a good spot we'd need like a little bypass for the trains to get past that could go that way perhaps so they don't stop at the station maybe let's do that first um let's take this one here let's see let's see so if they want to bypass it they're going to come in here we're going to connect to this let's go up here this will make sense in a moment so if we go up here along here and then down to there that's just gone a little bit too far there we go that'll do that can serve as a bypass if they don't want to stop at this station which obviously my cargo stuff will do hopefully that's big enough we'll see how that goes uh, and then if we just delete this here yeah, oh, it must be placed roadside, of course. Uh, and also, we want our ferry in here. Let's just put that in first. So, if we have... Let's go for a large ferry pier. That would be perfect right there. Then we can add our road to that. Now let's take this road here. If we go... Let's see. Oh, I want to try and line this up. If I delete that bit and that bit. And go like this. Let's see what we can do. Boom, 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 boom. A train station. This one here. Yeah, that's going to be too close. Let's go down one. Excuse me. Thank you. Let's try that again. Yeah, we go halfway up. Like that. That should be perfect. Yeah, there we go. That's good enough. And then they can drive or walk down to there. We'll set some more paths and things up. And then this can join up to there. Excellent. That's what we want. There we go. So if they want to stop there, they can come there. Let's get some water across for these guys. We'll use this one. Perfect. And then some electricity. And they can use the wind turbine. In fact, we put that there. Three megawatts. That is terrible. But would that be enough for both of these? We shall soon find out. There we go. And they can walk around there. That's fine. It's starting to spin up. Is that going to be enough? Mm, it's enough for that one it's enough for that one as well excellent so there we go we can now uh, allow intercity trains can come in uh, i may sort of change this a little bit because we've got some crossover there but we'll see how that goes anyway if it doesn't back up they don't get in each other's way yeah we'll see anyway so that now allows inner city trains and we could connect that up i mean we could have a route going to here in fact, in fact, let's use the ones we've already got and hope they don't get in each other's way. And then we can always sort of change it a little bit afterwards. Oh, we need to stick in our, our roots, don't we? So let's go to there. And let's go... Where should we go with this one? Go to there. In fact, let's not go to there. Let's go to here. Perfect. And then we can have a route from here to here and back again. And then we can have a route from here to here and back again and see how they go i was going to put another one over this side but actually how's the traffic going over here it's not too bad and in fact what we could do let's just do a little bit of a change here is this road could run along the coast and connect to that mm, we'll just have those two connect like that yeah that's fine so if people want to go this way then there's two different ways they can go. This is going to be super busy, though, which is fine. I don't mind it being super busy. Because that's what we want. We want as many people as possible. There we go. To come and visit. Well, at the minute, we've got no reason, really, for tourists to come and visit, have we? <laughs> there's nothing for them to come and see. So we could set up something for them to come and see. Now, let's have a look. We've got, like, the football stadiums. I've never really done anything with those. And this seems like a perfect area over here. Uh, to do a football stadium. Let's have a quick sip of tea. So we've got some that are already named after famous football stadiums. We've got the Parc du, Parc du Prince. Camp Now. Barcelona. 
got Stanford Bridge for Chelsea. What's this one for? Did it say? Oh, Paris Saint Germain in the corner. Yeah, I missed that. Barcelona, uh, Chelsea, Juventus. Unfortunately, we haven't got um, White Hart Lane, which is a shame. And do you know what? I'm just going to go and check whether that is something that someone's ever put on the store. Give me two seconds. Well, there's nothing that I can see. So I think we're going to go with the standard football stadium. We're going to do that one next. It's got a noise pollution, cost 200,000. Um, visitor capacity of 750. So that should be good. And I've never actually built with one of these before. So there must be placed roadside. Let's just have a look. Uh, where's a road that we can place it again? Okay, so that's the side it's going to place against the road. So how about we set up a little visitor's area here? Uh, we've already got like a couple of ferry stops this side. Uh, we could add another ferry stop over here. So outside visitors could come straight over here, uh, which could be good. But I think this area would be a nice place to put it. So let's have a look. Let's have a look. We're going to need some sort of junction coming off of here. Uh, we're going to use one of the ones that they've got. And I think we're going to put a big cross junction in here. One of these. Yes, we are. Because we are going to end up extending across the other side at some point let's go back a little bit more see if we can sort of get that at a place where we can join the roads up and it still looks nice yep there we go that'll be good and then if we grab we've got the normal highway yep excellent so we'll join that up oh, brilliant first time and we'll do that one there and we'll do that one there. Let's try that again. Uh, no. <laughs> that looks a bit wiggly. I go there. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? Excellent. There we go. We'll keep that going. So then we can have that come down to this area over here. Let's draw these out. So whereabouts shall we go? I mean, I know we've got a road going across there. I'm not going to connect to that. And I may not even... I mean, it's got to connect roadside, unfortunately. But I'm hoping that they will take the ferry. Um, well, from here, they'll have to take the ferry to here. And then they'll travel by road. Uh, for these guys, they're probably going to just come down by road. Although, even though you have to put it roadside, it doesn't mean it needs to connect to, to a road, does it? And they can walk. Let's try and do this. So They have to walk. Let's try and do this so they have to walk. So let's take... I'm going to just connect to here first of all. You'll see what I mean. I'm doing... I'm going against the natural way that you would normally do things in city skylines. So we can really try and get people to use the ferries as much as possible. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're then going to delete this. This is going to be our entertainment hub area. Um, how big was the football stadium? So that could go in the middle here somewhere. That would be great. So let's see. If we go up there. Yeah, we're going to go over here with this. And put that in there. That is perfect. So it's just what I wanted. What's the gap either side? Two and two. Right, okay. So it's roadside. That's fine. Um, I'm not going to connect it to that. Now I've put that in, we're going to totally ignore that. And also, we're not going to connect this here. What we are going to do is have people coming across via paths. So, we already have some paths here. Let's turn these off. So, we can connect up like this. We'll do one the other side as well, just for making it look nice. There we go. And then we can have a park in the middle here. You're going to need water, aren't you? Let's get some water across. And if we go like that. Like that. Oh, I've just missed it. Let's go back a bit. Make sure we get all of this area. There we go. Might as well connect that up. No. It's not connected up then. We'll go to there. There we go. That's covered all of that. Electricity. Um, we're going to run that down the side. Can I get across there? Oh, I can. So we're going to go up there. We're going to have shops and other things in here. So eventually we may not need that. There we go. Let's have a look at our stadium. That is looking nice. That is looking nice. I like that. Good, good. Um, so what else could we put in here that, we, that will attract people? And from what I understand as well... This only has people coming at a certain time. So the next one is 4 for the 4th, 2021. So we've got like a few months um, 
to come. So what's this we've got here? Come one, come all. To make it easy for fans to get to the stadium, public transport is free on match day. Uh, we're going to put that on anyway. Times one. Yeah, we're going to put that on. Even though it's free anyway, we're going to do this as well. Um, what's this one here? Higher security staff to patrol around the stadium, keeping crime low. 500 per week per stadium. Not going to worry about that one for now. Subsidise youth spending money on training young players. The team has increased odds to win. 9,000 per week multiplied by the number of stadiums. What? We haven't got that much money. <laughs> Relocate building. Expect so if I did... Yeah, we've got, only got 11,000 per week down here. So yeah, we can't uh, afford to do that. Um, ticket costs I'm going to put down to 20. Uh, and we're going to change the colour... Let's see if we can get to white. There we go. Tottenham's colour. Team name. Oh, let's change this. White Heart Lane. There we go. Uh, Lake City. Can we not change the name of the team anywhere? Doesn't look like we can. Clicking on all the different things. No. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll leave that as it is. Good. So we've got that set up. So hopefully visitors will come over there. Let's also set up a ferry port over this side. Um, and then we may just do a little monorail as well to get them to and from. Let's put two ports on there. Let's try and line this up with the road that we've got here, actually. Let's take this one. Let's run. Oh, let's put this on, please. I want all of these back on again. There you go. And that one. Good, good. Let's run this down to here. This across to here, and then we want it sort of down here somewhere. That'll do. Perfect. There we go. Excellent eyeballing there, Biffa. Excellent eyeballing. If we get this path here, we've already got a path that goes along here. I'm going to run this one. Can we go straight there? Let's see if we can. I want to do nice... Nice curved paths. Go on, let me get out of here, if you will. Thank you. Under the bridge. So that is not going to let me go under the bridge. Oh, are you serious? Really? Even though I'm right by the... Nope. Okay, we need to make the train bridge higher. Let's just wait for the train to leave. There we go. So this... Hang on, this one goes underneath. Why won't that one let me go underneath? Look. What? What? Why does this one go underneath? It's like this was placed after the bridge. Hang on a second. Let's. I bet we can do this. Let's. Okay, we want to go across from here. So let's line. Where are we going to? Let's line this up first. I've got an idea. So if we go up to here, then we take out this piece of bridge, line that up, and then. Put this back in again. Nope. Won't let me do it. What? Okay. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll solve this. Let's let that guy get off the bridge before we delete it and ruin his day. Can you go a little bit further? Thank you. So we'll come along here. And then we're going to go up and up again. Which you won't let me do. Okay, let's do it from this side. Where is it? There it is. So we delete that. We'll go up one, up two. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Go straight across, hopefully. Now it's complaining about this one. Ah, oh, man, game, come on. Okay, let's delete that. Let's go straight across. I want to go straight, but I want to line up with that one. Let's 178 degrees, 180 degrees. There we go. Will it let me connect straight to that? It will. There we go. Perfect. Hmm. I'll, I'll look at the ends of those in a minute. And then if we just adjust this again. Oh, is it not going to let me go underneath? Yes, it will. To there, to there. Okay, that should be fine. That one's underneath. Excellent. 
Um, I don't know. We won't use that side. We'll just have this one side running backwards and forwards. Okay, that should be okay. How's that side looking? That slope's all right. This slope's a bit big. Let us change that and that. Give it a helping hand. We want to help these trains actually manage to get up. There we go. That's better. Yep, yeah, that's much better. Good. That's working fine. Let's have a route. That'll be blimps. Uh, this is the one I want. Wait, get off. Let's have a route going from... Oh, we haven't changed the colour of those lines. Let's just change... So, ferry lines 7 and 8 to outside connections. So, let's have those... Colours haven't we had yet? Purpley blue? No, we've had that. Let's have like a dark blue for those. We'll have them both the same. So, outside... Oh, no, can't spell. Outside line 1. And then 8 is outside line 2. And then we're going to have... Let's create a new line, please. There we go. From there to here and back again. That's going to be our stadium connection. So that'll be this one here. And let me say outside stadium. Yeah, we'll just call it outside stadium. We'll leave... Uh, we won't, won't leave it yellow. We'll go for sort of purpley whatever. Light mauve colour there. Excellent. So there we go. So now we will start getting people coming eventually when it's match day that want to travel to over here. Let's get you some water so you're not complaining. There we go. Connect that up. Uh, some power. You can have a wind turbine as well. Three megawatts. Plenty. Yep, that'll keep you going. Excellent. We could even have done one of those over here. And then we want to sort of do a little bit here to try and encourage more people to come. I mean, these are all unlocked from what I can see. So we really could go with... Oh, wow. Television station. We really could go with something cool over here. So let me have a look through. Let me have a think about what I want to add. And I'll be back with you. just put in the final touches there we go to our area here and then i'll show you what we've got we just need some paths just to finish this off i've already seen lots of people coming up and visiting so i'm not sure whether they're visiting the shops that are here or what's going on but i put some shopping around here here we go they're complaining already don't complain they've got some nice plazas around the outside so you can walk outside have something to eat you can pop out to one of the competing big bites <laughs> that we've got down here. <laughs> I'm going to delete one of those and see if we can get something else to come in there. Let's delete that one there. See if something different will turn up. But plenty of car parking. That's what we need. And also we have here... Can you see that there? The Tottenham Hotspur flag. Which I've just looked up on the workshop as well. So really pleased I managed to find that. 
All I need to do is just go through and add a few more trees in, in between the paths, like this one here. And this area will be nearly finished. We've got a little something perhaps we can add along here as well. But I'm loving the way this is looking. Oh, we're just back in time for the match. Let's see what's going on here. It's Tottenham versus Westfield or somebody. <laughs> we nearly missed it. Oh, look at that. That's, oh, we can get in closer. <laughs> what a great view. Here we go. I don't know which team's mine. My, my, my kit was white. We'll pretend we're the guys that are kicking down towards the bottom of the screen. And see how this goes. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is Harry Kane. He's got the ball. It's scored. What a goal. Yay. Everybody goes mad. Oh, excellent. <laughs> I've never actually watched one of these before. <laughs> it's fantastic. We've got all the crowd that are cheering and chanting around the place as well. Oh, hang on. Oh, there we go. Excellent. Excellent tackle. Oh, it's coming up again. Here comes Deli Alley. Oh, he's shot from a distance. Not so good, that one. It's a fast-moving end-to-end game, isn't it? There we go. Oh, I think Deli Alley's going to have another go here. I suspect he's probably not going to score with that one either. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. So, I don't know how much money we're going to make, but we're definitely getting a lot of people that are coming to visit this area. Let's just take a look uh, what we have going on here at the moment. Does it give us how many people are here? Well, there's a dead person waiting for transport. That's never good for a football match. Hopefully, I'll come and sort that out. Um, I don't think I've actually put in. No, I haven't. We've got a clinic, but we don't have a crematorium. Let's pop. Let's just pop one of these here opposite this road. There we go. I've got a few houses here just to give us some workers uh, for these people over here. Yeah, so hopefully they'll come over here and work in these shops um, and sort that out. But yeah, we've got our nice parks around here. We've got all the trees in now that we can put in, in between our paths. Still haven't got anything here. Maybe open to some ideas. You can let me know. But I think this could end up being a fantastic tourist area um, around here. By the way, worth mentioning, this game started on the 4th. It's the 18th and they're still going. This is, you know, it's end-to-end -end stuff. Yeah, you go Westfield FC. That's who we're playing. Uh, let's see how many people we could probably get an idea by looking at this. So service last week twenty six. How many people are waiting at these lines? Uh, zero to one. How many people have come in? Oh, we've got no road connection to here with services either, have we? That's something we need to keep an eye on. A hundred and eight. Yeah. So having no road connections makes it quite difficult. In fact. We could just attach them to this road here because we've got all the road connections there, haven't we? Of course. Uh, let's do that. Uh, we've got all the services there, I mean. That's what I mean. Let's maybe take this along here and just attach that there. And they will then be able to use all of these services that are down here and spotted amongst the city. Um, so let's have a look. Is there many people walking? There's some people driving across here. Dropping off their cars and then walking across. People are using the car parks. Not as many as you'd think for the football match that's going on. But it's very busy. It's a very busy area, which is fantastic. That's just what we want to see. Lots of people coming across. Is the match still going on? It is. I guess they're going to inform me of the, uh, the results <laughs> when it's finished. But yeah, we could really build this into a tourist area. And really try and get some more people to come across. We could also expand... Our living area maybe this will be the place where we start putting in some high density stuff because at the minute all of this is pretty low density isn't it we're not uh, growing our city hugely fast but the more density we have the more people to use the ferries that we've got everywhere so definitely i think we're going to be looking at that
there we go. I thought we'd have a look at that at night. I think that looks really nice. And the ferry use is off the chart now. There's so many people here waiting to get back into the city. In fact, we can check the number. Let's find a ferry going this way. There we go. 288 people waiting there at the moment. 107 waiting over here. And here there's lots of stuff going on with the ferries, which is fantastic. Let's have a look what the score was. We won. So we got £120,000. That's fantastic. Uh, what's that? Westfield FC got... 19,000. Oh, that was against Westville FC. I see, I see. So we're making some money. We could maybe put that up a bit, but I want to try and keep it as cheap as possible to try and encourage as many people as possible to come and visit White Hart Lane. Do you know what we need to do? We need to get a little district going here. Let's... In fact, if we go right up to the edge like this... Excellent. That'll do. That's near enough. And then we'll get that to be White Heart Lane. There we go. Excellent. Perfect. That's just what we want. And we know that we're going to have the policies in here from the city. Free public transport, prefer ferries. Yep, that's exactly what we want. Good. Well, let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas for uh, this area over here that we can help to expand it. Maybe more football stadiums, I don't know. Let's take a look at our figures here. 95,000. What were we at the start? Was it 50,000 or something like that? So, almost up to 100,000. That's about... Yeah, we're about a third of the way, more or less. Something like that. And we're, we're in no rush, are we? There's no time limit on it. But we want to make this city as nice as it can be. And I think we're doing a pretty good job. And a lot of that's down to you guys helping me out. So thank you very much for all your help and suggestions. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed. And hit the big B with the tea stain in the corner to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next episode of City Skylines tomorrow at the same time. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.